thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, so don't forget to see, like, yeah. Sub yeah, subscribe, click, like, love, love. Yes. Good. No, good. 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 Yeah. Oh yeah, we have a clarification. Mm -hmm. We had um, a, an email from somebody who submitted a, a question last week about natural yogurt and the trush. Mm. Remember the trush? Yeah, I remember that one. Well, I don't remember that I never had it, but um, I remember the question. So the question was, is it okay to eat natural yogurt after using it on the trush? And our answer to that was, uh, uh, no. no. So this week then, because we're alternating, is that I have the questions. He doesn't know what the questions are, so it'll be his first time to hear them. So the question uh, is, and we will discuss as we as we do uh, as normal. Dear agony uncles, I am very confused as uh, as I can't sleep at night, worrying about my extra large earlobes. What can I do about them? Or why do we have earlobes? From GT. Have they got scissors in their in their kitchen? That's self mutilation. Mutilation. Well, it sounds like it's the only thing because I've never heard of anybody being concerned about having an issue with extra large earlobes. Well, you could you could pierce them and put loads of um, earrings and jewelry and stuff in your extra large earlobes. That's a, that's the worst advice ever. You could tie them in a knot and tie them in a bow, and, <laughs> and away we go. <laughs> You're a poet. Like, why would you be concerned about earlobes? You know, people it doesn't matter how you look. No, but people are all concerned about if your nose is too big, or your, your head is shaped like a turnip, uh, or extra large earlobes, or you're exceptionally beautiful. <laughs> you know, people are very concerned about these things. So, What was the other part of the question? Why do we, why do we have earlobes? Yeah, why do we have earlobes? I have no idea. Why For earrings. Earlobes. I wonder, did monkeys, did apes have earlobes? I don't think they, their apes Hang on. have earlobes. I'll check. <laughs> yes, they do. No. Anyway, can anybody else answer that question? Because we can't, as we said. Why do we have earlobes? Yes, why do we have earlobes? Because Please let us know. Yes, if they're not too big, they're nice looking. If they're too big, God help you. What's the elephant at Disney? Jumbo? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he had huge earlobes. And you can tie them in a knot, you can tie them in a bow, you can throw them over the shoulder. Oh, is that where you got it from? Shoulder. Do your ears hang? No. Can you share your life experience so that we can all learn from it? From depressed, anxious, nervous and itchy viewer, Pete. Oh, okay, Pete. Can you share your life experiences? Yeah, in fact. Well, I th yeah, I think this would be a good one for you to do because you're older than me and you've more life experience. A more mature email. No. So okay, well then let's introduce a new section where we um, I will give my life experiences and share them with you all. So I'm going to go to studio number three. So it, will you kind of do an introduction for that? No and problem. Go, okay, I'll see you in a second in studio three for the new section of me doing. Oh, it's exciting! It's exciting. Okay. So it's life experience with Dave. <laughs> It's more like yawn experience with Dave. <laughs> Over to you, Dave, in Studio 3. Thanks, Paddy. Well, I'm excited about my own little segment of the show where I can offer you my vast experience of uh, my, my, all my years and all my knowledge and all my understanding, which will help solve all your problems. So, um, let's start, right? Um, I was born in Dublin. In 19... As incredible as that sounds, that was just the first 12 months of my life. In next week's video, we'll do year two. So I hope you found that as beneficial and as helpful as I think it is. Um, so that's it. Back to Paddy and me. Oh, you're back. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, that was brilliant. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. I know it was a bit long. Oh, sorry, yeah. It was a bit long, but, um... Oh, it's good, okay. But, you know, I thought it was, it was quite informative. Can we for next week? Oh, I don't come we. This is our new section mm -hmm. uh, called the Broken Hearted Section. <laughs> Dear Agony Uncles, I am broken hearted. My boyfriend broke it up with me recently because he said my eyebrows were too bushy. And when he kissed me, it reminded me of his dead ferret, Bernard. Oh my God. We were together for six months, and now I am broken hearted. What should I do? Love your show, Kay. Ah, oh, Kay. Thank you, Kay, for the poor thing. All I can say is, and uh, it's probably what I'm probably going to do now, is going to break all copyright issues. Um, is no, you can't. Let it go. <laughs> let him go. Mm. See you after. You ain't got nothing to do with him anymore, girlfriend. If he does not like your bushy eyebrows, let him go. What are you doing with your eyebrows? <laughs> I was are you kid. slagging Kay? No. Kay, I do apologise for his behaviour now. I think it's absolutely uncalled for. But anyway, let him go, love. Yeah. There's plenty more fish in the sea, as yeah. to say. Maybe you could actually go out with uh, a boyfriend that doesn't have any eyebrows and then you could kind of... Why? 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 Share. Why? I have bushy eyebrows. Oh, I do. Yeah, so bushy. how do you maintain your eyebrows, your, 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 your craft of eyebrows? I brush them every morning. With what? So you can brush them. Uh, eyebrows frame your face, so you need them. What? <laughs> Did you have um, a bowl of the worst, give the worst advice today for breakfast? Right, so for our next question, okay, uh, we're going to need uh, some help from the Lords, who's actually in Studio Z. All in Studio Z. Hello, Dolores. Hell yeah. What do you two mean, just want this time? So, Dolores, listen, this is the question that we have, all right? Are you listen? Oh, well, you know what the question is. I'm just reading out. This is my first time seeing it. Anyway. First time seeing it. Dear Agony Uncles, I have a phobia of removing plasters from my skin. I am so terrified of them that I can't use them. Which means my cuts get affected. Please help. From scarred and sore, Amanda B. So Dolores, do you think you can help Amanda? Well, well in that case I'm going to need one of you to come in here and help me. Which one of you okay, to come in here and help me? I'll go. I'll go. Oh, no, sure. All right. All right. You go. I'm off again. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. See you after. All right. So I'm going to leave this to Dolores and the other. Well, Dolores called my gob. So uh, over to the two in the studio. <laughs> Hello, Dolores. Hi. How are you? Don't touch me. Oh, excuse me. Harry, I heard what you were saying about me. Anyway, can you help me? The question, did you hear what the question was? Oh, you were there, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I hurt my arm the other day. I have a big glass, Ronnie. Look, wait, look, wait, look. It's so, look. Oh. And look, now, I'm afraid of getting this taken off myself, and might like your one Amanda be. <laughs> she sounds like that, <laughs> Anyway, can you show them how to take this off properly? Without hurting? Oh! Now remember what you need to do. Can you catch a Veruca from kissing kissing someone's feet? Oh my! From uh, Malcolm. Malcolm. 
uh, Malcolm in the middle. You know what a Veruca is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's, Have uh, you ever had a Veruca? Well, no, I've seen her on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Firstly, why are you kissing someone's feet? People do that. You know. I don't mind rubbing someone's foot, but kissing People them. People do that. The, 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 I know, the, 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 but I think like... And toe sucking and... <laughs> yeah. So I assume that you can't do... <laughs> <laughs> no, I would do... <laughs> oh. Even think about it now, well, hello. Yeah. Okay, that's a bit dramatic now, but seriously. You go, of course you're going to get a I think I, I think I threw it in my mouth. Stop! Stop it! <clears throat> I reckon you can get a veruca from kissing someone's feet. You think so? Imagine no, getting a veruca on your tongue. That would be very thorough. And we think you can get a veruca in your mouth. If you put your foot in your mouth. It's foot and mouth disease. Is that what you were going to say? No. Ah! Ah! That's a good one! Sorry for interrupting. I mean, like, I know verucas are very contagious. You need your socks when you're in the swimming pool, does yeah. you know the Veruca socks? Yeah, special for, like, yeah. The white socks. The socks, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're plastic. Are they? It's like... I thought they were more like a nylon. Like. I don't know. <coughs> anyway. Don't be kissing and licking someone's feet. With Verucas. That's disgusting. Disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> ashamed of yourself. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. On that note...